Hey guys, Bless Be Homestead here. I hope that whenever and wherever this finds you, it finds you doing well. The video that I'm going to be making today is a continuation of a video that I made previously on taking asexual propagation cuttings. Did a video on how to take some herbaceous and softwood cuttings from just the plants that you have in your home or your garden. Uh, but I wanted to share with you what I think is like a secret sauce of making sure that you have a high success rate in those cuttings. Often when people take cuttings, one of the problems that they have is they dry out and die before they have a chance to root. And so to combat that, I'm going to show you how you can make a relatively inexpensive misting system uh, that you can use to greatly increase the success of your cuttings uh, that you take. And so uh, here in a second, I'm going to show you all the parts that you need. You can do this maybe around 40 to 50 bucks, depending on um, the uh, timers and stuff that you get. Uh, but I'm going to show you the parts, then I'm going to show you how to put it together, and then I'm going to show you the finished product. So what I'm going to do now is go through the equipment list and the fittings and stuff that you're going to need to make the mister. Um, I'll put this down below so you can have a list of it, but I at least wanted to show it to you. Now let me just say this, some of you engineers and some of you guys that are pretty good at tinkering out there, uh, you, you know, this can be modified greatly. I'm just using the little system that I use, uh, but if you find a, you know, a way to improve it or make it simpler, have at it. Um, first thing you're going to need is a piece of black plastic pipe. Um, you can get this in three quarter or half inch sizes. It comes in pretty big rolls at your garden centers or your box stores. Um, you only need a few feet of it. So if you have the luxury of asking, you know, a landscaper or maybe a farmer or somebody who just has some scrap of this laying around, that would be great. Um, but it's really not that expensive. So you can get you a piece of this flat pipe. Now I'm going to be using three quarter inch, but you can use half inch. And if you use half inch, obviously get the fittings that go along with the half inch pipe. Um, first thing you're going to need is a plug to go into the end because we want to make sure our water doesn't go out the end of the pipe. But this here is just a plug uh, for the black uh, pipe. You're going to need a ring clamp, uh, a couple of these uh, to go on the uh, ends of your pipe to make sure we don't have any leaks. Next, you're going to need a piece of PVC. Uh, it's a coupling that's got threads, the female threads, on the inside uh, of both sides. You're going to need a coupling for the black pipe. Uh, it's got male threads on one side and it has the um, uh, piece here that goes into the pipe that you're going to clamp down. And next you're going to need, this is just what I call a water hose adapter, uh, but it has male threads on one side and it has this little swivel that you can use to attach a water hose uh, to this. This will stay stationary and this will move to tighten or loosen your water hose. You're going to need to get a pack of these uh, mister fittings that you can get again in your garden center uh, inside of the irrigation system. Uh, they're just small little uh, misters, uh, plastic, they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, and again, they usually come in a pack of 10 or so. And then finally, you're going to need something that has a, uh, a timer on it that you can use to turn the water off and on. Uh, and you can get various um, models and expensive, uh, or you can get cheaper models. Uh, this one that I got is $30, uh, and it will be able, it comes on uh, every hour. And so you can set it to come on one minute, two minutes, whatever minutes you want. Uh, but anyway, this you will need a timer uh, to make sure that you're getting uh, moisture to your plants uh, periodically. All right, uh, we moved the assembly of our mister indoors. It's about 95 degrees outside. It was hot in that greenhouse. And I uh, post should show you how, just sitting down here, how simple it is to put all this together. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we don't want water coming out the end of our pipe. And so what we're going to do is put a plug into the end of the pipe. And what I like to do is to take a grill lighter and I just like to kind of heat this up just a little bit. I mean, I don't want to melt it or anything, but I do want to make it just a little bit pliable, flexible. Then I can take my plug, put it in here and just take my hammer and 
I don't want to bust the pipe, but just gently tap it. And we have all that in. All right, so we have our plug into the end of the pipe. Next, we're going to take our clamp and um, left my screwdriver over there. But what you're going to do is just take your nut driver, screwdriver, and you're going to take and tighten this clamp on the end where the plug is. Then what we're going to do is take, and on this side, we're going to begin um, assembling our uh, intake. So again, I have our coupling here that goes with, it's got the metal threads and the part here that we're going to put inside of our black pipe. So again, I'm just going to take this grill lighter and just soften this up just a little bit. I'm going to take this, again, take my hammer without hitting the camera. You want to make sure you're not hitting it too hard. You don't want to do anything to mess up the threads or anything like that. Can take fitting in here, the little uh, coupling that goes here on the black pipe. Got my ring clamp here. Got my plug and my ring clamp. Next thing we're going to do is take uh, the piece of PVC coupling that we have. Remember, it has threads on both sides. Now, normally I'd put a little piece of Teflon tape on here, but uh, for the sake of ease, and um, speed up things here a little bit with the, the video. I'm just gonna take, and I'm gonna twist this the coupling here onto this. And then again, put a little piece of Teflon tape here. This is the uh, garden hose adapter. And I'm just gonna screw this into the coupling. And I'll get me a pair of pliers, channel locks, and I'm going to tighten this up. And if I, with my Teflon tape, uh, there shouldn't be any leaks whatsoever. And so we have a garden hose adapter. We put it here on our um, coupling. Got our um, piece here that goes into our piece of black pipe clamp, plug, and clamp. And it's just that easy. Um, that's, that's all we have uh, thus far. Next, I'm going to show you how to insert the um, misters. Next thing we need to do is to put our mister into the pipe itself. Now the pipe has a natural bend to it where it's been in the roll. So I always like to lay it down to make sure that when I put the mister in it doesn't point up or point down that it points uh, straight across. Now there's probably a, a better way of doing this but it's very simple and so it works for me. I've always done it this way. Just get you a nail and I'm just going to take and tap into the pipe and just kind of get me a little starter hole. And we'll pull that out. And then I'm just going to take the, the fitting, and again, you don't, you got to be gentle, you don't want to break it, but just tap it until it gets started. And then I can just twist it into the pipe. And so now our mister is facing straight, facing forward. You can put your little piece of silicon in there if you're worried about it leaking. Um, you know, for my greenhouse, it's, there's not enough pressure here that it really matters enough. And so I don't do that, but you can if you want to. And again, uh, you just repeat that process and space out your um, misters uh, ever how much you feel like you need down the pipe. And so that's it. Um, we've got our pipe made. And so I'll go back to the greenhouse and show you uh, what it looks like when it's laid out and what it looks like when it's working. All right, now that we have everything connected, we have our mister uh, that's connected to our water source. Uh, we have our timer hooked up. Uh, now, uh, the timer that I have has a manual function, which means I can just push a button to turn it on. And I'm gonna do that now just to show you what it looks like. But what we, uh, the misters have done is they're going to come and to put a nice, fine, mist over the leaves all right if you can forgive the dripping in the background 
Um, I just turned these misters off. I wanted to real quick, just one last time, just kind of show you how it all connects together and go from beginning to end. All right, so we have our timer connected to our water source and we have a hose that is connected to this fitting that we just had. Um, there's our coupling to our black pipe, our hose clamp. Uh, we come through here, we have four of these misters uh, along the black plastic pipe. Never how many you need will depend, again, upon how many uh, that you want. And then we have our clamp and our plug in the end. And so that's it, guys. That's all the pieces that there is to it. Uh, again, take you about an hour to put this together. It may cost you 40 or 50 bucks, but it will greatly increase the success of all of the cuttings um, that you have and so uh, I hope this will be helpful to you I hope this will uh, help you to have more cuttings and maybe even root some things that are a little bit harder to root if you have any questions you can put them there in the comment box and I will do my best to uh, answer them I hope you have a great rest of your day and God bless